My eyes are a little glazed over. Just got into Spain today. Short three hour drive, which is considerably short for most of our trips. But we're in this little town of Spain, which is really cool. Straight sprit. I mean, this, is, this is really cool. We're gonna go in and have some lunch and uh, go out and look for some Ibex. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we're in the right place for them. I think we're out some of this country looks pretty rugged. Right now I'm more concerned about eating, getting out of that car. So what turned into just a scouting trip, we found a really nice Ibex and I mean he's feeding kind of down this, this draw here. It's a big canyon so we're just going to try to cut the distance a little bit and see if we can get a shot at it. My heart's pounding. <laughs> when it happens, it happens fast. So let's, let's see if we can cut this thing off. I'm on him. Okay. Si, si. Got him again. Come on. Come on. Come on. Alright, so a little further shot than what we wanted. A little over 500 yards, which is so thick in here. We're getting to a point where we can't find it at all, so it's always that tense moment when you don't see it drop. <laughs> You're kidding. There he goes. He's down. I see him. So we just got this unbelievable Bassetti Ibex here in Spain. It's 12 years old. Man, we made this hunt as hard as possible, but I mean, like I always, I have a ton of people to thank. First and foremost, my family for letting me do this. Uh, they make huge sacrifices for me to be able to do this. And Khan, with Shakar Safaris, he's a great friend of mine. He's allowed us to hunt all over the world. And a special thanks to Juan for putting this all together for us. Just unbelievable experience.
so this morning we've got about a two hour hike into the hunting area. Like all these hunts we go on, you spend a lot of time in the cars just getting to these locations where you can actually hunt. But, whew, it's nice to be on our feet. So we make this little rock shelter. Fog and the rain. I mean, the fog's really setting in. It's still raining quite a bit. We're freezing because we were sweating. Came in here so fast. But saw a couple of ibex. So if this fog lifts, I think I think we'll have a really good opportunity. But right now it's uh, not looking so good. Right there. Porto, porto. Porto. Otro? No. No, no más. No. Okay. <laughs> <sighs> Vision. Tiene a. Ah. <laughs> Viejo. Bien. Okay. Man, that's. A really good ibex, and it took us a long time just to make sure <sighs> it was an old, mature ibex. But we couldn't ask for a better shot. We've been stuck up in this hut for maybe an hour. Wind's terrible, rain's terrible. The fog, as you can see, it lifts and goes down, and so we dropped elevation just hope to get lucky. And lucky is what we got right there. That was extremely lucky. <sighs> Man. 15 years old. Very, very old Ibex. It's exactly what we're looking for. It's really a lot like our, our sheep hunts or even a little bit more like our North American mountain goat hunts. It's a lot of walking, a lot of climbing. Here was a little bit more lucky because there's some good paths and good trails, but it was uh, still quite the haul in here. And my expectations were completely different. I'm blown away by how cool the animal is, how the cool the hunt was. It's just uh, it was an awesome experience and to cap it off to get a 15 year old Greedo Cybex is, is really cool. The Bassetti we shot just a few days ago was 12, which is really old for Bassettis as well. So really cool old animals and, and, and a fun, awesome experience. <laughs> 